Hello, and today we are going to look at understanding ratios using a double number line. And let's look at a quick definition of what a ratio is. A ratio is a representation of the constant relationship that two numbers have in a given situation. So in the example we have here, we see a relationship of two red dots, two red chips, to three yellow chips. And since that's a ratio, we're going to say that is a constant or a consistent relationship. And here we have another ratio, which is really the same ratio. Okay, We could say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 red to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yellow. However, if we reduce that down, it still becomes a ratio of 2 to 3. And we can see that because there's equal groups all the way across. And we can continue this to have other examples. Here we have another example of a 2 to 3 ratio, 2 reds to 3 yellows, but we've extended it out so that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups. So there's 2 groups of 5 reds, so that is a ratio of 10. And there's 3 groups of 5 yellows to 15, and 10 to 15 is an equivalent ratio to 2 to 3. So as we look at this on a number line, and we just look at each group, the twos, the red, okay, which the first one is two, then we have a total of four when we get into the second group, six, eight, ten, and if we look at the pattern that we're following, we're counting by twos, so that becomes a twelve, okay, and down here we are looking at a group of three in the first one, six, three more, nine, so we end up counting by threes, 15. So our next group, even though we don't have it up here yet, we can see that it would be 18. Okay, and that's a double number line because we have a number line up top counting by twos. We have a number line on the bottom counting by threes, and our ratio two to three, we can see that we can always determine how many total we would have in each group by looking at the double number line. So now when we look at any ratio, let's choose a ratio of 4 to 7. We can determine what each amount would be as we extend it out by using our double number line. Okay, so we have here a ratio of 4 to 7, so the first group is going to have 4, the second group is going to have 7, and to find out how many goes in each group here, we just keep counting by 4s, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and it would just continue on. And here we can count by sevens. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and 63. So if we're looking at any specific uh, equivalent ratio of 4 to 7, we can just go right here and say that 24 to 42 would be an equivalent ratio to 4 to 7. Okay, And that makes sense because, let's do this one right here, Okay, 20, um, 28 to 49, 4 times 7, so we would have 4 groups of 7 in this one, and that is 28, and we would have 7 groups of 7, which would give us 49, and that is the equivalent ratio using a double number line. And to wrap things up, uh, one of the neat tools we can use when it comes to uh, working with a tape diagram is a multiplication chart, okay, because as we go across, we're counting by twos, we're counting by sixes, we're counting by nines, uh, because we're always multiplying by one group more. And we can take a multiplication chart. And let's say here we've got the uh, five strip that I've cut out. And here's the three strip that's gonna, uh, that has been cut out. 
And if we want to know uh, what some of the ratios look like in a 3 to 5 ratio, well, the first one would be 3 to 5, 6 to 10, 9 to 15, 12 to 20, and all the way, uh, all the way on. If we wanted to change that, say, to a 3 to 4 ratio, we just use the 3 and the 4, and we can see several ratios that are always going to be equivalent to that 3 to 4 ratio.